The gas you see coming from the engines is a dry nitrogen purge. Because the engines use very cold liquid fuel, cryogenic fuel, you don't want that to go into a warm engine. T minus three minutes and count. Nitrogen gas, nitrogen fuel. Find the main engines are at start position. That means the large tank is being built up to flight pressure by pumping in some gas. Just before launch, you see a water baby. Preparing now to trap the gaseous oxygen that are in the Gox B cap. Shockwave falling to the atmosphere. Of course, there's these sparks coming from the sky. There's hydrogen gas releasing out of the atmosphere. That cap there is on the top of the external tank. That's just to duct the baby oxygen away from the water. No one expected it. Captain, Atlanta. Close the lock device and initiate OT. Close lock device and start OT. T minus two minutes and counting. T minus two minutes and counting. Look at this one. Look at this one. Activating the cameras on the solar rocket boosters. One minute, thirty seconds. Sound suppression water system is now armed. Sequencer will hand off to Atlantis's onboard flight computers in T-minus 31 seconds. About 15 seconds from now. So rocket booster flight data recorders are activated. T-minus 31 seconds. Thank you. The handoff has occurred. 25. On the rocket booster nozzle gimbal check. Firing chain is armed, sound suppression water system activated. T minus 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. Go for main engine start. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And zero and liftoff of Space Shuttle Atlantis.
three engines looking uh, really good, back at full throttle now at liftoff. The fully fueled shuttle boosters and external tank weighed four and a half million pounds. It now has burned uh, half of that liftoff weight in propellant. One minute, 30 seconds into the flight, all three auxiliary power units that provide hydraulic power to the orbiter's systems in good shape, as are the fuel cells providing uh, electricity to all of the systems on board. Atlantis is already 19 miles in altitude, downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, 20 miles traveling, 2,500 miles per hour. Coming up on staging, the point at which the twin solid rocket boosters burn out and separate from the orbiter. Booster separation confirmed. The onboard guidance system has done its job of settling out any of the dispersions that have been introduced at the booster separation. Atlantis' performance thus far is uh, exactly as planned as uh, Atlantis heads into orbit, uh, flying heads down, wings level into a historic sunset on its 32nd mission. Two engine tau. <laughs> Atlantis uh, can now reach uh, Zaragoza in Spain in the event of a single engine failure. However, all three main engines are still operating at full throttle, 104% of rated thrust. The auxiliary power unit is still in great shape, as are the fuel cells. Atlantis is traveling 3,700 miles per hour at an altitude of 47 miles, downrange from the Kennedy Space Center now 88 miles. Atlantis is uh, getting a boost from the orbital maneuvering system engines on the tail of the vehicle. Those uh, uh, have been burning now for about one and a half minutes. Atlantis, you are negative return. Negative return means Atlantis can no longer return to the Kennedy Space Center in the event of an engine failure. It's already traveling too far, too far high and too fast to return to the launch site. Now traveling 6,000 miles per hour, 180 miles from the Kennedy Space Center at an altitude of 62 miles or about 330,000 feet. This view from a camera on the external tank looking down the length of the orbiter as Atlantis heads into orbit on its uh, 32nd voyage into space. Atlantis, you are pressed to ATO. Atlantis can reach orbit on two engines should one fail at this point. However, all three are still in great shape. I've got a report that the flash evaporator system uh, providing cooling to all of the systems is also uh, operating uh, normally as well. Atlantis is traveling 7,700 miles per hour, 278 miles downrange, 67 miles out in altitude. for the guided system to take over control of uh, Atlantis and roll the vehicle to a heads-up position. This roll to heads-up uh, uh, allows for... Atlantis, you are pressed to Miko and single-engine Zaragoza 104. Press to Miko, single-engine Zaragoza 104. 
Atlantis can reach a safe orbit on two engines now. Lucky dogs. <laughs> That reference to the guidance system's choice of the uh, roll maneuver. The uh, nominal shutdown on all three, you will be go for the plus.